Hello everyone. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone who wished me a safe trip and also for the prayers. My Indian trip this time was also fruitful. I've been to so many temples, some new, some uh, normal temples, which I usually make sure that when I go to India, I visit those places. Forget about, forget about my voice because just came back, so the voice is not still clear. But hopefully the message what I am going to say in this video is very clear. In this particular video, I am going to talk about an astrology called Aura Astrology. In Tamil, we call it as Orai. What is this Aura Astrology and why do we need to follow it? And by knowing this Aura Astrology, you yourself can find out which particular time slot in a day is really helpful to you so that you can do like uh, good things during that particular time like registering a land, buying a jewelry all those good things you can do that during the specific time slot to explain about the specific time slot on each day first let us look at normal time slots which is considered to be very bad on every day Indian astrology they call it as the Ragu Kala and Yama Ganda what is this time slot why is that Ragu Kala and Yama Ganda I'm going to explain that in this particular video Ragu and Kedu these two planets they are all shadow planets these two are shadow planets it's just purely the shadows they don't physically exist I don't know how many people know about that will a shadow cause problem can a shadow give happiness yes for example, a tree's shadow is helping us. We are hiding ourselves in the shadow to cover up from the sun, sun's rays. Shadow can create disturbances in the mind. Like by looking at a shadow, we can think that it is something else. So a shadow can even trigger fear. Shadow can create, create mental disturbances and that's why during this full moon or new moon or during the eclipse period people are, some people are mentally disturbed and currently science is trying to prove that as well. So shadows can cause problems. And these particular shadows, they kept a name, Ragu and Kedu. As you all know, the remaining seven planets as a complete day for themselves. Like Sun as Sunday, Moon as Monday, Mars as Tuesday, Mercury as Wednesday, Jupiter as Thursday, Venus as Friday, and Saturn as Saturday. But for Ragu and Kedu, there is no specific days. So what the astrologers have kept is, this Ragu and Kedu will have specific time slots on every day, which means they will be more powerful during that time slot. And that is what is Ragu Kala and Yamaganda. 
normally people avoid doing good things during this particular time. So now coming back to Hora astrology. Hora came from a Greek word which means Hora means uh, in Greek it means our H O U R. So Hora is split into our each and every hour there is a different Hora meaning different planets getting power during that particular time. Now I am going to explain how to work out the aura and uh, you can put a tabular column by yourself once you see this video and the main planets which are called Subha aura which are all good planets and during their aura you can do good things which means during other auras you should avoid doing good things. The four main auras which are good are Friday represents Venus, so Sukra aura, Wednesday represents Mercury, Budan aura, Monday represents Moon, Chandra aura and Thursday represents Jupiter which is Guru aura. These are the four auras which are good and these auras come every day on a different time slots. Now I am going to explain how to work out the time slot. Put a tabular column Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and in this way each and every column you mention the time slots like this. Um, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, etc. Till from morning 6 to evening 6, write down the tabular column first. And then, if it is a Sunday, the 6 p.m. starting is actually, it's an assumption that the sun rises at 6 a.m. In your place, if the sun rises normally at 6.30, then it should be from 6.30 to 7.30. Understood? Now, if it is a Sunday, the first hour, 6 to 7, is always the sun aura, which is the Surya aura. And then, 7 to 8 is before Sunday, it is Saturday you should skip that and before Saturday what is that? It is Friday which is the Sukra Aura. Can you see here? Um, Sunday um, yes so 6 to 7 is uh, Sun Aura which is Surya Aura 7 to 8 is Friday which is Venus Sukra Aura 8 to 9 will be before Friday it is Thursday so skip the Thursday and the day before Thursday is Wednesday and that will be the 8 to 9 Wednesday is Mercury which is Buddha aura and 9 to 10 is before Buddha it is Tuesday which is Mars skip that and then before Tuesday it is Monday so it is the alternative days in backwards Sunday, after that Friday, after that Wednesday, after that Monday, after that Saturday and after Saturday it is Thursday. Fill this out and each and every day represents that planet. Friday represents Venus, Sukra, Wednesday represents Buddha, Mercury, Monday represents Moon, Chandra and Thursday represents Guru, Jupiter. This is how we fill the Aura tabular column and if you see the star like you need to identify as I initially said there are only four planets which are good during the Hora astrology they are Shukra Friday Wednesday Mercury Budan Monday Chandran Moon and Thursday is Jupiter Guru if you keep filling, you, you, you can fill this for a whole week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's very simple. 
I think after watching this video, I think you, you will try it and definitely you will work out each time slot, what is the aura and whether that aura is a good aura or not. So next time before you do anything good, first work out this aura chart and then decide whether you which time slot you need to start signing or something. That's all I wanted to say in this video. Please do take care.